The next honoree was my coach, Vic Palladino hardly needs any introduction to the Watertown public. Victor Palladino. <laughs> he served the town for many years as a teacher, athletic director, and later as a town counselor. He graduated from Watertown High in 1941, having played football, baseball, and basketball for three years. After graduation, he was recruited heavily and went to Boston College under the legendary Frank Leahy. He played football for the Eagles during the 1941 and 42 seasons, including an appearance in the 1943 Orange Bowl game against Alabama. In 1943, he entered the military service and served in Italy with the Army, fighting at Anzio and playing in the Spaghetti Bowl between the 5th Army and the 12th Air Force units. After the war, he returned to BC and had a great junior year in the fall of 1945. After that season, he was named an All-Catholic All-American, a Mr. Z Boston Herald All-American, and a third-team National All-American. He was drafted by the Green Bay Packers, but elected to remain at BC for his senior year. He saw limited action as a knee injury effectively ended his playing days in 1946. He played with some of the greats at BC. Mike Holovac, Mickey Conley, Chet Gladchuk, Yo-Yo Gianelli, and boy, I tell you, did we hear Yo-Yo Gianelli stories when we were playing for him growing up. Upon his graduation, however, he was named the first ever recipient of the Scanlon Award, honoring academics, athletics, and character. Soon thereafter, Coach became the, head, the assistant coach at the University of Rhode Island, and after a stint at Taunton High School, came back to Watertown in the fall of 1954. He served as head football coach until 1961, and athletic director and director of health for 31 years, until his retirement in 1955. It is with great pleasure that I present for induction into the Hall of Fame, my coach, Victor Palladino. Jump. The first thing I want to say is, is uh, I kind of lost my breath when I uh, saw my wife there, but okay. But I want to thank everybody that had anything to do with this, Bob Caprillion and his committee. I am very grateful to Watertown. This has been like the last page in my uh, book. I uh, don't want to take a lot of your time. I know you want to go home and everything, but this is more than a Hall of Fame to me. This is a, a reunion. I have shaken hands with so many people here tonight. I, I just can't hold back the, the, the pleasure that I've had. Uh, Bobby Norton and uh, Paul Basile and Bobby Capadonna, Jerry Nason of the uh, Boston Globe, when he saw Basile run, he said he's the best open field runner that I have seen since Glenn Davis of Army. And uh, in those days, Army was the tops. They had Glenn Davis and they had Doc Blanchard, a fullback. And as far as I'm concerned, I had two players that were equal to them. And the only problem was they didn't play in the same years. Paul Basile and Bobby Cappadonna. I'd like to tell just one little story about Paul Basile. When I came to Watertown in 1954, I lined up all the backs in the end zone and we punted to them. And this one little kid, about 130 pounds, <coughs> broke away every time. He beat four, five, six, seven, no matter how many men you send down, they couldn't get this kid. So I said, gee, this kid, uh, this kid's gonna be great. So I said, I better call him over to the side and settle him down a little. I said, Basile, well, come over, yes, coach. I said, you know, Paul, you do all right, but you don't carry the ball in your proper hand. You should shift it, and, and you don't cut back very good. You should learn how to reverse your feel. Said, yes, coach. He says, can I ask you a question? And I said, yes. He says, how is it for distance? <laughs> Bobby Capadonna was the greatest, absolutely the greatest.
the toughest, greatest, most humble kid that I've ever coached. In fact, I was so fond of him that tomorrow morning my daughter's getting married and Bobby Capadonna is a godfather. That's how much I think of him. He's a gentleman, he represents Watertown well and everything. In closing, I would like to say I want to congratulate all the recipients this evening. I know of many other players in Watertown who are, should have the honor, So I'm trying to say, and for them, patience is the greatest virtue, and I'm sure down the line, they'll all get inducted. So in closing, I'll say the opposite that President Kennedy said, not what the country can do for you is what you can do for Watertown. I'll just reverse that. Watertown has done a great deal for me. It gave me a great education. It gave me a great background in football and sports. And for a kid coming out of Pleasant Street in those days to become the athletic director and everything, I had a long ways to go. And the people of Watertown that gave me that opportunity. And I want to thank you very, very much. And before I close, my two sons, Captain Tom, and my other son, Bobby, and my girl uh, companion, Ann, just please stand up. Thank you very much.